Okay. Some people are just so bold. She's literally parked in the middle of the street. There's not even a driver in there. Like, wow. Man, oh man. <gasps> okay, guys, so I'm ready to walk into the UPS and um, get everything shipped today. Uh, and I just wanted to jump on here and give a quick message. My phone is dying. Oh, well, Lord, that's all right. Battery charge, I know. I swear, it seems like I always want to jump on here and talk to you guys when I don't have any juice left to my phone. Um, guys, I just wanted to say to you today, um, please don't give up on your dreams. Uh, starting a business is so strenuous. Starting a business is so tedious. Starting a business is not what TV and Instagram and, well, I'm not going to say all Instagram because some of us really be showing y'all what it's like, but uh, just like reels and things like that, you know, like they... They make it look good, okay? I'm literally sitting here having to spend more money, take more product from my um, supply, and resend out products because of uh, faulty UPS people and just not caring and wanting to hurry up and get home. It was probably hot down there in LA. And just all these different factors play into why I, as the business owner, have to come and do this right now. And I don't want to be the type of business owner just like I was when I was writing my book. Like, I want to show you guys the guts and the glory. I'm not all about the hype. Uh, sure, the products are ready and I'm going to ship out. There's like 20 people in the UPS right now, so I'm going to chat with y'all for a sec. But my dedication is my dedication. This is something God gave me and I know he gave it to me because I would have never decided to go pluck rose petals. Off. Uh, rose petals were my, uh, roses were my sister's favorite. They weren't mine. I like um, hibiscus. I like uh, tulips. I like um, 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 big monsteras. I'm not even really like a flower lady per se, okay? So I'm just saying all that to say... This is something that God gave to me that I didn't ask for. But I know for a fact he wants me to do it. I know for a fact it works. I know for a fact it's blessing women and men. So I have to stay focused. I have to stay consistent. I have to persevere. I have to show God that he makes no mistakes. And that no matter how hard it gets, every day owning your own business is never going to be all what it looks like it is dressed up online. Um, so anyways... Uh, school of the hard knocks if you will when it comes to my page um i like to just be real my hair is doing whatever it wants today i'm sorry guys you know i always end up focusing on that and i shouldn't um but yeah just please never stop um more and more people are coming they're starting to watch me in my car talk to myself and my phone um more and more people are coming to get in line for ups so this is going to be just grand but it doesn't matter because i'm out here okay like it just doesn't matter i'm out here um Hopefully UPS makes everything right with me, but I just wanted to kind of put the fire underneath somebody's butt today and just be like, man, you're ready to give up. I feel you. It's quiet as a church mouse where you are in the business you're trying to start. I feel you. Um, but it's coming. God said build it and he'll do the rest. Use your faith, guys. A lot of people don't understand. It is sinful to not use our faith. That's really all God wants of us. We get problems, issues, business issues, anything you can think of in your life. When you don't turn around and exercise faith with it, you are displeasing God. And faith without works is dead, meaning you're not going to see the results right away, y'all. Living for the enemy, immediate results. Instantaneous. Temporal, but instant. Living for God, you're like, woo, 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 hey. Did you remember me? Hello? But it's okay, guys, because that's what true discipline is. That's what true obedience is. That is what true exercising of faith looks like. It looks like you can't believe maybe the Lord might have made a mistake and, oh, shoot, this is not happening. Why is it taking so long? Why am I not excelling and business booming? And, oh, my God, I can't even keep up a product flying off my shelves. No. Living for God is so different than that. And living for God means you got to learn some true patience. And you got to do it gracefully on top of it all. So already you're frustrated. You got to get to a place where you're not frustrated. And you know that God's timing is so miraculous that it shouldn't matter what you want and when you want it. And get out of your own way. All right, guys. So I'm trying to keep it under five minutes. I love you all so, 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 so much. And I believe in each and every one of you. And I need you all to do the same. I need you to go and conquer what it is that God has whispered in your ear, in your prayer closet, in your in your driveway, pulling up to the crib, wherever you were when God whispered something to you and he said, do it. I need you to go do it. Basis.